Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And today, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take a look at setting up automated backups to your Home Assistant as well. So I know I've been kind of all over the place with setting up different types, and that's just to get Home Assistant ready for all the things we have coming in the future, as well as the time it takes to make those videos. Sometimes it'll take a lot longer, and I really have a very limited time schedule. So today, all we'll do is we'll just quickly go ahead, set up an add-on that will allow us to go ahead and automatically back up our Home Assistant installation, which will allow us to restore it. So say for instance, your Raspberry Pi fails. Remember, we are still running it on a Raspberry Pi, so things can go wrong. So then we'll at least have a way of restoring that backup from the uh, Google Drive. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look. There we go. So we're back in Home Assistant. As you can see, everything is still exactly the same as we left it off last time um i still have a spelling error i need to go ahead and fix that thanks for pointing that out um but i'll go ahead and fix that as well in the future so today all we'll do is we're going to go ahead and use the add-ons options to install um a custom add-on that'll allow us to go ahead and upload that, that backups to google drive now one thing you do need to keep in mind is if you are using the free version of of, um, Google Drive um, you are limited to only I think it's 17 gigs and depending on your installation it can sometimes go up quite high uh, if you do back up everything but I'll show you as we move along that you are able to go ahead and customize the specific items that you can go ahead and back up as well so with that said let's go ahead and take a look so to install the um, add-on um, I have the github page open right here already I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys to take a look at as well. It's fairly simple. We can go ahead and follow this guide. So in order to go ahead and install it, we need to go ahead and copy this link right here. And we go ahead and add it to our Home Assistant. So in Home Assistant, we can click on SIO right here. Wait for that to load. As you can see, it has the existing add-ons that we added previously. We can go ahead and click on the add-on store right here. Then to add a custom URL, all we need to do is we go ahead in here, right click, say paste, click on add, and just give it a minute. That'll go ahead and add in that as a custom repository for us to use and install the add-on from. There we go. And once that has been added in, we can go ahead and scroll all the way down and you'll see we have Hasio Google Drive backup repository. So on here, all we will do is we'll go ahead and click on the name of that add-on. It'll also give you a lot of information on here that you can follow along. All we'll do is we'll go ahead and hit the install option, wait for that to go ahead and install and set everything up. And then we'll take a look from there. There we go. So that went ahead and installed. Um, we're not going to go ahead and change anything in here. We'll leave everything exactly as is. You do have some configuration options right here. Um, maximum natural snapshots, but you can go ahead and configure that within the interface itself. As soon as we go ahead and start this add on, which I'll do right now, I'll just go ahead and start that. Um, we'll also be able to go ahead and configure it from the add-on itself. So there's not really a lot we, we are going to go ahead and configure. All we'll do is we go ahead and click on Open UI once it has started. So we'll go ahead and click on there. There we go. It'll give you a basic getting started. It's fairly simple. All we go ahead and do is authenticate with Google Drive. So go ahead and click on that. And obviously, I'm not logged in, so just give me one sec. Just give me one second. I need to verify this on my phone. Yes. There we go. Sorry about that. It screwed around with my camera a bit as well. Let's just quickly move this around. There we go, that should be fine. Okay, and then once we're in here, we can just go ahead and say allow, and that'll go ahead and access our uh, interface, or that'll go ahead and access Google Assistant, or not Google Assistant, and that'll go ahead and um, access Google Drive for us. Um, 
it'll allow us to see error reports. We can just say yes on that and it'll tell us if there is any errors. So in here, once that has loaded up, you'll see it shows us a couple of things right here. And as you can see, it shows us one snapshot is listed in here with the status of pending. That's just That just means that I haven't created any backups ever of my installation of Home Assistant. Yeah, I know, I'm a rebel. Um, but um, it'll go ahead and create a snapshot for us. If you can go ahead and view here, it'll tell us that snapshot is being created. So it's going to go ahead and create a snapshot itself. And then once it created that snapshot, it'll go ahead and sync that to your Google Drive. Now you do have a few options in here. Um, so it'll show us the snapshots in Home Assistant, um, the snapshots in Google Drive. The last time the snapshot was started, which is just three minutes ago when we started the um, add-on. And then the next snapshot, snapshot is within three days. So we do have a couple of actions, which is uh, not really available at the moment until we go ahead and create it. So as you can see, that finished and it's only like 22 megabytes. So it'll go ahead and upload that to Google Drive. But we can go ahead and take a look at some of these settings that's in here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the settings. And right here, you'll see we have a lot of options. So it'll give us the snapshots it's going to keep in Home Assistant, so just the amount. So every three days it's creating one snapshot and it'll keep up to four. Now we can go ahead and make that less if we want to. I'm going to leave it as four. And then the days between snapshots, so when it's going to go ahead and make a snapshot, I'm going to go ahead and change this to seven, so just once a week. Snapshots in Google Drive, I'm going to leave that as four as well because it can get quite large. And then time of days, time of day, that depends if you want to go ahead and specify exactly a specific time of the day you like to have the snapshot being taken. I'm going to leave that. It'll go ahead and just create it, uh, create a snapshot. It doesn't matter as soon as the time has passed, it'll go ahead and create a snapshot. And then a password, you can go ahead and add a password to that if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and leave that as is. And then the snapshot template, that's just if you want to use it, go ahead and use a custom format for the specific snapshot. Then if we go a bit down, you'll see we have a lot of additional options. Now you can go ahead and browse through and select specific items you'd like to go ahead and back up or specific information you'd like to go ahead and make. You can do partial snapshots. So say, for example, your snapshots are getting quite big and there's not enough space on your drive and you just want your basic stuff to be backed up, you can go ahead and check this and just do partial uh, snapshots. And you can go ahead and select specific add-ons to back up and specific information in there. I'm going to go ahead and leave a full snapshot. I'm not going to do partial snapshots for this. And then you have a couple of network options. You can go ahead and leave that as is. Um, it'll go ahead and automatically use the same configuration that your network is using within HASIO itself. So that is it for the configuration. So we can go ahead and hit save right there. That'll go ahead and update that to uh, seven days. There we go. So the next snapshot would be in seven days at the same time that we created this snapshot. That should be it for this. We can go ahead and log into Google Drive real quick so I can show you guys how it's going to look in Google Drive. We'll try with this specific computer. And then right here, if we look a bit down, you'll see there is one in here that's called uh, HASIO Snapshots. And we have that one snapshot we just created. And that should be it. So. That's all you need to do, go ahead and set that up. It'll go ahead and create your snapshots. It'll automatically upload it. And if something goes wrong, it'll go ahead and alert you telling you, listen, a snapshot failed to go ahead and create. And now we have a backup. So if something does go wrong, or maybe we want to change the platform from a Raspberry Pi to something else, um, maybe run it in a virtual machine, we have an easy way of just going ahead and restoring all that data fast and easy without having any issues. And there we go, guys. So that's going to be it for this specific video. Now, 
I know it wasn't very long. I know there's not a lot of information. However, the backup of your home assistant is very, very important. You put a lot of time and effort into setting up all your automations and setting up everything. And then suddenly the Raspberry Pi fails. Then you still have that SD card. But what if the SD card fails and everything you had was on that specific SD card? So it is very important to have it and it's a very essential way of using Home Assistant. And especially with that add-on, it's just go ahead, set it up and almost forget it because it'll notify you if something goes wrong. So that is very cool to have. Now, in the next video, I'm going to go ahead and set up a wireless doorbell. So we're going to go ahead and use our existing multi-center in the kitchen and use a old wireless doorbell that I have laying around. It's a cheap one. Um, I'm going to use that and power it from USB. I also use the casing of that doorbell as a housing for our ESP and also power it. Uh, through a single USB power slot, so a USB power socket. So that's something to look forward to. With that said, I'm going to leave you guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week.